Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Dinosaur Channel. This is your home on YouTube for all things dinosaur and prehistoric. Welcome back. My name is Tal, I'm your host, and today we're going to be covering the beautiful and wonderful Ceratosaurus. But before we do, I want to make sure that you subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss a single dinosaur quick dive because we are covering all the dinosaurs in the Jurassic World and Park franchise movie franchise. It's going to be great. So before we begin, leave us a dinosaur-sized thumbs up. Comment down below, dinosaur, you would like to see us cover in the future. And with that being said, let's jump right into the Ceratosaurus. So Ceratosaurus, it means horned lizard. That's because of the horn on its face. So how long ago and where did the Ceratosaurus live? Ceratosaurus lived in the late Jurassic period, about 150 million years ago, and they lived in what is nowadays North America. What exactly did the Ceratosaurus look like, you might ask? It was a medium-sized theropod, one of the specimens being estimated to be about 17 feet to 18 feet long, while a specimen that was found later was even larger at around 23 feet long. Ceratosaurus had a deep jaw supported proportionally by very long blade-like teeth. It also had a prominent ridge-like horn on its snout. That would be this little thingy. And two horns, a pair of them, right over its eyes. It also had some forelimbs, some arms, and these were very short. They were functional from what we understand, but they, they were very short and they had about four fingers. The tail was deep from the bottom and a row of small osteoderms occurred on these things, similar to what we see on crocodiles and different dinosaurs that we know existed back in the day. As for the function of these osteoderms, we don't really know what they did on the Ceratosaurus, but they existed for sure. So this is a really quick animal, so we're just gonna bounce off to how the Ceratosaurus got famous. And everybody kinda knows the reason why. The Ceratosaurus was featured prominently in a bunch of really old movies. If you go back, they have a bunch of really, really old movies, black and white movies where the Ceratosaurus appeared. And it kinda used that old dinosaur stance where it kinda stood up, uh, approached up on its like tail and two feet, kinda standing like this high up above the ground attacking different herbivores and humans in these movies back in the day and that's because this dinosaur was really famous because it was found in the united states back in the day it was one of the original ones found by dr marsh the paleontologist one of the early day paleontologists he's really famous for finding a bunch of other really famous dinosaurs in the united states of america so this thing was known about back in the day it made its reoccurrence in the jurassic park 3 movie a lot of people even forget that this dinosaur existed on screen in a movie in jurassic park which is really cool because it was kind of like a bonus dinosaur it, it appeared for a very short cameo and when i say short cameo i mean really 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 short cameo other than that it went on to be featured in a bunch of different smaller things like the jurassic park operation genesis famous video game and of course the new jurassic world evolution video game where it is one of our star attractions at the park so lastly let's talk about how this dinosaur behaved and its diet pretty much in 2004 paleontologists confirmed that they think the ceratosaurus was primarily specialized in eating aquatic prey such as lungfish crocodiles and turtles different things that lived in the water. They believe that Ceratosaurus were most commonly found in swampy, wetter aquatic areas, places like wet floodplains, lakes, and swamps. Ceratosaurus probably also lived inland, probably a little less frequent than when it lived in the aquatic areas, but when it lived inland, it was probably competing with things like Allosaurids, which were bigger than it and probably more aggressive. So it probably didn't make much sense for it to live always inland. Probably sticking near the water was a safer bet, smarter bet. They believe that when it did live inland, it was probably feeding on the carcasses and scavenging of different dinosaurs. These scientists also noted that the long, low, and flexible body of the Ceratosaurus compared to other dinosaurs indicated that it had a deep crocodile-like tail, possibly adapted this thing for swimming. It made it a possible for it to be a potential swimmer, similar to maybe a Spinosaurid. And we can compare them to other Allosaurids that feature a shorter, taller, and stiffer body with longer legs, built for running and for attacking things on land. It's also speculated that they potentially seasonally switched what they preyed on, sometimes being aquatic, sometimes being more inland. But obviously, these are all theories. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is your Ceratosaurus. How many of you guys love the Ceratosaurus? I personally really like it, and I love the Jurassic Park 3 color screen where it's kind of like pinky and red. It looks cool. It kind of looks like a turkey or a vulture or something. It's really cool. If you like the Ceratosaurus, make sure that you smack us with a dinosaur-sized thumbs up and you comment down below a dinosaur that you would like to see us cover in the future. If you want to support this channel, you can send us money on PayPal. It'll be down below in the description. Support this channel. Help us grow. As well, please make sure to subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss a single video because you're not going to want to miss a single dinosaur quick dive because we're basically covering every single dinosaur from the Jurassic Park world and movie franchise. Make sure that you're doing all that. Your next dinosaur will be the super famous Dilophosaurus. And we'll see you then. Goodbye.